From the plastics and chemicals in our products to the herbicides and pesticides in our food supply, we are surrounded by estrogenics, all right? And estrogenics are basically any compound that enter your body and attach to the estrogen receptor in the cells. And estrogen receptors are basically in every single cell of your body, so this is definitely something you need to watch out for, all right? This is Mo Salim coming at you from TripleYourTea.com, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about five of the top estrogenic compounds that are in our food supply and in our personal care products as well and what steps you can take to move away from them and maintain your hormonal balance because these estrogenics are not only dangerous for men but they're dangerous for women as well because they are seriously signif significantly sorry, uh, affecting the hormonal balance. All right, with that being said, let's dive in. So the first estrogenic compound you need to watch out for are phycoestrogens, and these are basically plant estrogens. And I've made an entire separate video in which I went over the research study in which University of Toronto professors basically analyzed 150 of the most commonly eaten food products and analyzed them for their estrogen phytoestrogen composition, all right? So the foods that were found to be the most highly estrogenic were, first of all, soy, flaxseed, and lavender, all right? Now, soy and flaxseed are something that are considered health foods by many, but the bottom line is that they are a rich source of phycoestrogens and are producing estrogenic effects on your body. So flaxseed and soy are definitely something you should watch out for. I went over three other Three of the other top, uh, three of the other top five foods as well in my other video. I'll link out to it below. But lavender, that's something that is uh, very prevalent in our personal care products. All right, from the soaps, deodorants to perfumes to air freshener, lavender is used everywhere. All right, and there are actually some studies that were done on frogs. All right, and even cron a little bit of exposure uh, of lavender on them during their development phase actually led to them being chemically castrated. So that is pretty significant. I'm not sure if they've done any studies on humans at this point, but if I'm not mistaken, there was a study done on prepubescent boys that found lavender exposure to exert uh, to lead to gynecomastia, all right, aka man boobs. So lavender is definitely something you have to watch out for as well and definitely check out my other video in which I went over the other top five estrogenic foods. So the second estrogenic compound you have to watch out for are mycoestrogens and myco basically means fungi and the most common mycoestrogen in the, our food supply is ZEA, all right? It's pronounced something like Xerelanon. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's ZEA. And what it's found in most commonly is grains, cereals. Grains and cereals, all right? It is, uh, I mean, ZEA has been banned. I'm not, not banned, but there are some significant limits that have been placed on ZEA in Russia. There are limits that have been placed on it in EU, so they've basically put out a law saying that you can't have more than a certain amount of mycoestrogen, which is ZEA, in their food supply, but this law has not been applied in the US. So in general, grains and cereals are definitely something you need to watch out for because ZEA is a mycoestrogen which will have feminizing effects on your body and disrupt your hormonal balance. And that brings us to the third estrogenic compound and that is astrazine, all right? Now astrazine has been completely banned in the EU, but in the US it's actually the second most used herbicide. And the problem is that there are a bunch of studies that show astra astrazine exposure to exert birth defects in humans, all right? So definitely watch out for when you buy those fruits and vegetables, definitely wash them with water before consuming them. And ideally, you would be wanting to go for organic produce so that you don't get exposed to astrazine, all right? And that brings us to the fourth estrogenic compound, and that is phthalates. Now, phthalates are a compound that's added in the plastic manufacturing process to make them more durable and flexible. But studies have found that phthalate exposure actually leads to lower testosterone levels as well as sexual dysfunction in men. So overall, you should definitely be avoiding plastics and go for glass containers when you can, all right? And that is the 
brings us to the fifth and final estrogenic compound and that is BPA. And BPA is yet another compound that's used in the plastic manufacturing process in order to make plastics more durable and flexible as well. I'm actually not sure of the exact reason they're used, but I mean, you've definitely heard about BPA. And uh, again, studies have found that it exerts estrogenic effects on the male body as well as leads to sexual dysfunction. Now, I used to, uh, I mean, I used to store my food in plastic containers and I used to go for BPA plastic and thinking that it wouldn't exert the same effects. But the bottom line is that BPA free does not mean BPS free. And BPS is yet another compound that basically has the same effects as BPA, but it is not labeled on the plastic container. So BPA free, even though you're buying plastics that might be that, they do not necessarily are, they do not necessarily lack BPS as well. And that is basically the same compound which exerts the same effects all right now these five compounds are everywhere like i said from our food supply to our personal care products so some action steps that you can take is first of all check out my video on the top five estrogenic foods and that those are the foods you should definitely be avoiding all right i'll link out to that below the second thing is try to go for organic personal care products or personal care products where you when you read the ingredients list you know what each ingredient is. And if there's some ingredient that you can't pronounce, then chances are that it is not something that would be beneficial for your body. And it is also likely that it would be something that's exerting negative effects in terms of disrupting your hormonal balance, all right? And thirdly, if you're living in the US, be wary of grains and cereals, all right? Like I said, they contain a mycoestrogen called ZEA, which has been found in multiple studies to cause estrogenic effects on the male body, all right? And finally, plastics, all right? Just try to avoid plastics as much as you can. I mean, it's impossible to avoid them completely because they're pretty much ubiquitous in today's life. I mean, they're used everywhere, but in terms of food, don't store, don't store your food in plastic containers. Don't microwave your food in plastic containers. Try to drink out of glass bottles. Uh, try to drink water out of glass bottles when you can. So those are just some of the steps you can take to reduce your exposure to these compounds, all right? And the problem with this, as you know, is that when we are exposed to these estrogenic chemicals, the, they attach to the estrogen receptors in our cells, which are basically in every single cell. And high estrogen in men is obviously not desirable because it leads to a bunch of side effects like sexual dysfunction, like fat gain, like difficulty building muscle, like reduced sex drive. All these things that you don't want is what estrogen leads to, all right? With all that being said, this has been Mo Salim. I hope that this video has provided you with some valuable and more importantly, actionable information that you actually apply into your life so that you can move towards a life of more energy and well-being.